Hi, this is Matt Slauson. I'm uh, in my shop and uh, I thought I would demo a method of making the ball end of a post. So, I just got done making a post for a 28M uh, kind of saxophone. And the method I used for that was to turn the diameter of the post and then uh, I used a, a form tool that I cut out of a piece of uh, tool steel. So this is a, a quarter inch tool bit and what I did was I started the shape by creating a, a series of cuts with an abrasive saw and then I finished the radius with a, with a, a Dremel tool to make that, that, uh, that shape. There's lots of methods for doing this. Another kind of interesting method for making uh, shapes is to create a form tool and um, Let's see if I've got one here. Uh, you can create a form tool. Oh, there it is. And I made this one for creating uh, the little knobs for trumpets and whatever. So this is a form tool. And the way you create one of these is to take a hunk of uh, tool steel. And this was, I think, inch and a quarter diameter tool steel. And I turned it in the lathe to create the profile. And then I ground a notch out. So you can make... Uh, form tools that way. So this again, this is one I made for making the little knobs on uh, on trumpets. Uh, and then I uh, just drilled and tapped a piece of uh, half inch diam or half inch uh, square rod to make the holder, and that's a socket head. So you can make uh, form tools that way, and that's actually a pretty good way to do it if you're going to resharpen quite a lot. Another way that's an uh, interesting way to make a post spherical shape is to use this kind of cutter. So what I did here is um, I took a piece of drill rod, tool steel, and I turned it to about three-eighths of an inch OD and I drilled a hole in the center a quarter inch because the the post heads on the uh, 28M are a uh, quarter inch in diameter. So I drilled and tapped a hole, or drilled a hole, didn't tap it, and then I heat treated it by uh, heating it up red hot and quenching it. I haven't tempered it, so this is just uh, hardened on the end, and it's massive enough that I don't think I'll have a problem with uh, with it being too brittle. Uh, so that's that's the tool. Kind of the interesting thing to me is there's no cutting teeth on this. The hole in the center ends up becoming the the cutting edge for creating the post. Okay, so. Um, I'll show you the setup on that in just a second. So what I've done here is I've taken a, a, a piece of uh, half inch diameter, uh, I think it was half inch, I guess I better measure it. Uh, yeah, half inch diameter brass because that's the, the diameter of the flange on the, and I turned it down to a, a quarter inch uh, diameter and now what I'm going to do is uh, use the parting tool to create a little relief over here for the for the uh, um, cutting the the post ball. So I'm going to use my dial caliper set to a quarter of an inch as a depth stop, and so I'm going to just dial this over here and so I'm setting my parting tool a quarter of an inch away and I'm essentially just going to kind of rough out the post so So what I did was I cut some, I cut some reliefs in that uh, in order to to uh, make it easier to cut the ball. So that's um, 
the general shape of the post right now. So now I'm going to cut the, the spherical end on it. So I'm going to switch to my my uh, other form tool, my circular one that I made. And I've got my compound rest set at the normal 29 and a half degrees for my cutting cutting threads. And uh, what I'm going to do is set my tool so that this edge of the circle is uh, essentially tangent with the end of the post right here. So that's where I'm setting the tool. I'm going to go in with the soft feet a bit. And I'm uh, essentially Just trying to line it up so I'm straight across, and then hopefully kind of neat how it so once I see that it's making about half of the sphere. There, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go in with a cross slide. of it would be normal turning to to uh, finish creating the post. <laughs> 